for a major regatta, we basically go over the boat and check all the fittings to make sure that we're not going to have a failure. So basically that involves going through every fitting on the boat. There's a lot of fittings, so we're split into two. I'll take the back and Sass takes the front. So armed with flathead, Phillips and a spanner, check that every bolt is tight. And the biggest one with the cleats is it's pretty easy to over tighten. Get the spanner on the back, wind it until it's tight and then take a quarter of a turn off. But it's pretty easy to over tighten that and then have a dysfunctional cleat. Often we'll check the boat and we won't find anything wrong with it. In this case, we found the kicker line. It's not even worth risking that, just change it. Obviously, before you put a rope in the boat, you need to um, prep it. And generally, it's just a matter of trying to um, pre-stretch it if you can, so that all your marks and calibrations are the same on the first day as they are on the third day. The other thing to do is, you know, check the tanks as well. Sailing with just even a sponge full of water in your tank is putting yourself at a disadvantage. Get the Vaseline out and just apply around the hatches so that they don't leak. Once we've done our boat check, we're going to check all our rig. We like to have three settings, light winds, medium winds and really breezy stuff. So it's important when you measure your tension to always measure it at the same place every time. And I always pop it on, put my nose to the right bit, and that's where we measure our tension to. We spend hours and hours kind of fine tuning all of this combination. Um, we have a starting point which we get off of our tuning guide, which comes from the sound manufacturers. So if you don't have a tuning guide, it's probably worth looking there first. And then just the next thing we just need to do is check um, that our spreaders and shrouds are actually equal because it could be a reason why you might be faster on one tack and not going so well on another. So Sarah will sort of walk back 20 metres, she'll line up the spreaders at, at the bottom and then also at spreader height and she'll be able to see if one's lying further back than the other. And today we are spot on. So that's the boat all checked, so hopefully nothing will break. We're set up to go fast and we can just have a really good training session in the water and not lose any time.